Hi everyone and welcome to another session of Dancing to Heal Seated. I will be seating, seated further back, sat further back, and uh, we're going to have some fun with these moves, but do feel free to get up out of your chair if you want to. I'm just demonstrating the seated version. So your seat should be stable, you should be able to feet, feel your feet touching the floor uh, if possible, and also the space around you should be clear enough to be able to move your hands all around you in different directions. If you're taking your shoes off, do make sure that you put them out of the way for safety reasons. And it is really good to be able to take off your shoes, wiggle your toes and really sense with the soles of your feet if you can. I will be explaining things as I go along. So let's have some fun and just do what you can. If it hurts, just tweak the movement a little, connect to some pleasure rather than some pain. Um, and let's let's get the music going. Okay. So from your comfortable seated position, feet touching the floor if you can, let's take a long breath in through the nose and out through the mouth as those hands, those arms come down. And let's begin by activating the energy around the body, going through the 13 major, major joints separately. We're going to start with an ankle. So beginning to move your ankle and your foot. Give the toes a wiggle about. So we really get some movement there. Just in a way that feels comfortable for you though. It should always be your way. Excellent. And then moving up to the knee joint, notice how you can make some different moves from that seated position with your knee. Maybe you can put in your hand to the joint to help you to sense that joint. Choosing those movements wisely. And then to the hip. So from your seated position, you may be able to manage some little circles with the hip, pelvic circles. Maybe even some hip bumps where you're sort of slightly lifting out of your seat there. If you can. Lovely. And then we move on to the wrist. With some rotation of the wrist. And then to include the hand, we can also move the fingers and the thumb. And 
to the knee. And then to the ankle, including the foot and the toes, giving those toes a wiggle about. Lovely. And then walk those feet towards closed if you can, as close as you can comfortably manage. Excellent. Now just keep the comfortable position in your seat. Take those arms, those hands to the side, get ready to reach up. And then down. Now take it down to your lowest. As you come up, some movement in the shoulders, the chest and the ribs. Feet slightly wider. Open stance. Again, down to your worst, keeping that stability. The seat, movement, chest, ribs, and then feet a little wider to ear stance. And lovely. And with ease, coming up slow. And then taking your feet to the widest that you comfortably can. Side. Now, if you're comfortable with it, you can take the ball of the foot to the foot at the back. Take those hands up and slowly down. Now, bring them forward, toes facing forward. We do a circle with those hands and make some movements with the hips if you can. And the other side, ball of the foot to the back. Slowly down, toes facing forward. Circling those hands, those hips. Okay, let's move all the joints. So we've got ankles, knees, hips, wrists, elbows, shoulders, and the spine. Remember to keep the jaw slightly open. Takes away tension. Let's take up the air stance. Get ready to reach out and stretch out those fingers and thumbs as we look up. And then slowly take it down to your lowest. Coming up slow, undulating the chest, ribs. Let's do that again. Reaching up, looking up. And then slowly down. Slowly coming up. Okay, now we're going to take the heel of the hand across the body. We're also going to do some squish walking so the toes stay down and the heels come up. This is optional so as you take the heel of the hand across the body just move those feet in that little squish as if you're squishing something under your heel and we can watch the hand that travels across the body and then to play with going a little faster with the moves and the faster with the feet and then take it to a speed that feels okay for you if that's too much just slow it down okay we've got it squish more heel of the hands moving across the body eyes watching the hands comfortable stance for the feet. Let's do a little wrist dance. Moving those wrists. Now 
about elbows. Shoulders. Shoulder dance. And then we've got the spine. We could do the spine side side or we could do that spinal roll in any direction. Let's begin with the wrists. Play with that elbow dance. Shoulders. And then the spine. Any way you like. It could be a spinal roll this way. It could be side side, so you choose. Let's begin with the wrists. Now if you want to, you can place the ball of the foot one side to the back as we do elbows, shoulders, and then the spinal move your way. And then placing the feet in a stance. And if you want to, step back with the other foot, ball of the foot, choice. Back to A, wrists. Let's have another play with that spinal move. I'm going to go side to side this time. Wrists. Now the choice if you want to is to step onto the ball of the foot. Side. Shoulders. And then choose your move with the spine. some of those moves that we've been doing. Really sensing those joints, soles of the feet. Let's walk those feet in towards closed. Open, about shoulder width apart. A, making that A shape. And sumo, the widest stance, and then slowly walk them back in. And then feet still, pointing the palms of your hands down, easing the shoulders, relaxing the jaw. Perfect. Okay, so keeping the joints lovely and soft. So we're going to make a circle with the hands. And we're going to make a river with the palm directions. And we'll make a heart shape. 
And then index finger, desires. Let's do that again. Get ready for a sink and pivot. Feet a little wider as we pretend we're wiping a tabletop. And we make a rainbow. Fingers and thumbs making the rain from the other side. It's a little sink and pivot. And then we do the rainbow. So it's a little heel lead. It's a heel to the ball of the foot. Once you get the hang of that, you can bring in the arm. You can stretch it out. Lovely. Get ready for your sink and pivot. As if we're wiping that tabletop. And make that beautiful rainbow. Fingers and thumbs from the other side. Back to our little steps, so it's heel ball toe. And if you want to, you can really stretch it up to the ball of the foot. We call that a relevé. Wonderful. Get ready for your sink and pivot. And the rainbows. From the other side. Let's do toes in out. In. Out, cha cha cha, toes in, out, one, two, three. Just point them slightly in, out, toes in, out. Just gently, lovely. Now, if you want to, you can take a palm direction, palms down, palms up as you move the foot. That's an option. Beautiful. Let's take it forwards. And let's do our sink and pivots. From this side. Fingers and thumbs. Little steps. Nice and easy. Bring in the hand gently if you want to. So really just moving gently. Lovely. Just smaller movements, smaller steps. So let's make the heart. And we'll do that again. Well done. So just moving those feet to a comfortable 
position, a comfortable stance with those feet. So the wider the stance with the feet, the more stability you'll have if you shuffle forward just a little in your seat. So that's an option. But always keep a stable base. Okay, so we're going to begin to move the palms of the hands around the body. And if you've got your base nice and stable, you should be able to comfortably reach around within your range of movement with some rotation of the waist. You can maybe go higher or lower with those palm directions. Imagine that you're creating a lovely bubble you, your safe space, your happy space. Excellent. Okay, so walking the feet in slightly within your bubble, just relaxing the shoulders and relaxing the jaw. Feet touching the floor, comfortable seated position. Imagine yourself just sinking down, sinking down into Mother Earth, being supported. And you could also imagine a beam of light coming down over your body like the sunlight above you, coming down with rays of sun, bringing in new energy, and you're able to just release anything you no longer need. So from the top of your head, just allow those facial muscles to relax and allowing the eyelids to go heavy, jaw slightly open, and awareness of your breath. For a few breaths, how about putting the tip of your tongue to the roof of your mouth? Just for a few breaths, give it a go. That actually helps to take away tension from the back of your neck. Just when you're ready, opening your, uh, releasing the tongue, opening your eyes slightly as we relax the rest of the neck into the shoulders. Dangle by the side. Gently moving the fingertips and thumbs. Imagining all tension just dripping out of those fingertips and thumbs. And then placing your hands back on your lap in a comfortable position. And from the shoulders into the chest, the ribs, the waist, down to the hips and pelvis. Awareness of the legs to the knees, down to the ankles, and give the toes a little wiggle about, take the hands to the side, take a long breath in through the nose, and out through the mouth. Well done. And give yourselves a clap. Well done. Thank you for joining me.